Welcome everyone. In order to transfer data from iPhone to Google Pixel 8, we need to start by being on the setup screen and you should see welcome to your Pixel. If instead you have the lock screen here and if we see the home screen as well, then we will need to factory reset our Pixel 8 and to do this, start by opening up the settings and in the settings I want you to scroll all the way down until you see here system you are then going to scroll to the bottom until you see reset options and then you're going to select erase all data and it will do a factory data reset once we've reset the phone on the Pixel, we're going to tap on Get Started. And then we're going to tap on iPhone or iPad. We now need to connect to our Wi-Fi. So I'm going to do that now. It is now going to get the phone ready. It is now asking us to sign in to our Google account. Google account is used for most of Google services. So if you have an account, enter this one in now. If you don't have an account, tap create account and follow the on-screen instructions. We now need to agree to add the Google accounts. And it's now asking us to connect to our mobile network. If your old iPhone had eSIM, you can't move that over to your new pixel. Instead you will need to tap on download eSIM and you will need to download a new QR code which you would have to ask your carrier to give you. You can also insert a physical SIM card as well. There is a SIM card slot on all models of Pixel 8. You don't have to do this now so instead I'm going to tap on skip and then skip again. It's now asking us to set a pin. You can tap screen lock options to change the screen lock type, but I'm personally going to set a pin. And then it says set up fingerprint unlock. Scroll down to the bottom and then select I agree and then start. We now need to long press our finger, ideally your thumb, on the sensor and then release and keep on doing this but each scan slightly change the position of your thumb. There we go, just keep on repeating this process, moving your thumb around or whatever finger you're using so that as much of the surface is captured. If you want to add another fingerprint tap on add another, otherwise tap on next. You can add more fingerprints in the settings. It's now asking us to copy data, so let's tap on next. And now we need to connect both devices together. So get the charging cable or your iPhone and connect it to the iPhone. On some of the newer models, you can connect the other end of the cable into the Pixel 8 and there's no problem. If you can't, like me, in the box of the Pixel 8, there is this adapter. And so you connect the other side of the cable to the adapter and then you connect the adapter to the Pixel 8 like this. And so once you are connected, we need to go to the home screen of our iPhone. And we need to tap on the trust button here. And then devices are connected. It's now going to scan the files on your old iPhone to see what can be moved to the Pixel 8. It has found the files here. Uh, so just leave everything ticked or tap something to untick and then tap on copy.
You will notice that there are Google's versions of Apple's apps. So Google Find My is a replacement for Find My iPhone, etc. Tap the tick to choose what apps you want and tap on copy as well. And now it's going to copy the data. While it's copying, we still need to set up our Google account. So use device backup. If you want this on, great. If you want it off, turn it off. Use location. You should keep this on because each app has to ask for the location permission manually. Allow scanning. Uh, it, improve, it improves your location. It allows location to work offline, but it also means that Google can see your location even when you're offline. I personally turn this one off. It drains battery too. But if you're having issues with your location, go into the settings and turn on the scanning. Send data to Google. I turn this one off. And then let's scroll to the bottom and accept. Warranty information. Just tap on next for this. Continue setup. If you want to set up Google Pay, which is Google's version of Apple Pay and Google Assistant, tap continue. If you don't want to, tap on leave and get reminder. And you can always set up these two later in the settings. Additional apps. If you want these, great. If you don't, tap the tick to not get them. And then we'll tap on OK. Uh, copying is done, so the data transfer is done. Once it's done, you can unplug both devices. If it hasn't done, patiently wait for the transfer to finish. So we'll tap on done. And you can see here, you need to go to this website, g.co forward slash transfer from iCloud to get your photos and videos from iCloud to your Pixel. And this other stuff here, if there's any other information you need to read for your cloud data. Turning off iMessage, so on the iPhone itself, we will need to open the settings. And in the settings, we will need to locate where it says messages. And then if iMessage is on, tap this one to turn it off. And then on the pixel, tap done. Now it's going to get the phone ready. And swipe to navigate. So Google has the navigation that you would see on the iPhones without a home button. But if you do have a home button iPhone, you will need to learn the new gestures. So if you tap on try it, you will have a tutorial on how to use the gestures. Otherwise, tap on skip. And then we see all sets. And if you want buttons, tap system navigation settings. And then free button navigation. Otherwise, leave it as gesture navigation. And then press the home button or swipe up to go home. So let's have a look at what this has transferred. You can see the photos have been moved over from the iPhone. The wallpaper hasn't, so you'd have to reset the, uh, the wallpaper manually on your Pixel. Uh, any apps which were on your old phone, this, is, this has basically nothing. If there were apps, they would re-download. But please keep in mind, you will have to re-sign into your accounts. So do not factory reset your iPhone until you verify that everything has been moved over to your Pixel. Otherwise, you may lose some data. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.